Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We've got Sam with us today. Hell yeah. It's currently one o'clock in the morning and we're waiting for the tide to go down for the next half an hour. So we're going to run you through the tips, the tactics, the rigs and bait that we've got. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing. Woo! Got a variety of bait today. We're going on an all out bait mission. So we've got ragworm, we've got black log worm, we've got mackerel, scallop frills, party squid, and we got some six inch squids there for some big baits. And hopefully for all this, we can catch a few different species. Want to give a big shout out to uh, Relocations TV for giving us this ragworm. Definitely topped up our little arsenal of bait. So big shout out to you, buddy. Rigs of choice today. On the big baits, we've got the up and overs with uh, size 6.0 hooks, just in case, because there's a chance that a conga, a hustle, or possibly a ray. And uh, the whole idea of these is that it pops off after you've cast and then you've got a nice long flowing trace sitting on the seabed and we're going to be using six ounce grippers today because there is a bit of tide run and then for the multi-species rig we've got the good old flapper just with size ones and we're using for, uh, sorry 25 pound trace on these just because there's an outside chance of a smooth hound or something a little bit bigger anyway so just in case we hook up to something we can uh hopefully bring it in but there's a good chance at anything tonight we can get coochers bream black bream the ultimate dogfish uh just a mixed bag so fingers crossed everything goes our way we're just waiting for that tide to go down we'll get down there fishing baby just going to show you how we like to bait our squid up guys first of all this is the up and over with the six o's we like to come about an inch down and you go in the bait back out and you go in the same hole back out and then you go in the same hole and then you thread it through and out the head and you pull that all through the squid and what this does is when you put your bait elastic on it's not all tangled up around your line and your hook and stuff and you can get it off a lot easier so what i'm going to do this is quite thick bait elastic and then you bind it up just like so making sure You've got a lot of hook exposure. Get it all set. Beautiful. You don't have to go too mad on the bait elastic, just to, just to hold the hook in place more than anything and keep it all nice and uniform. So there you go. That's what it looks like, bait uh, elasticated up, sorry. And then you get your panel hook straight down. And you go one, two, three three or four wraps and you go in the top and out the side and that there will clip down perfect and that will catch you hoss conger smooth hound ray you name it a squid is a very diverse bait with the flapper rigs with a size one hooks all i'm using today we've got black log i like to break them in half because the hooks are so small you don't need big baits and what we're going to be targeting is stuff like Coochus bream, black bream, place, soul, uh, red mullet, you name it. And all you got to do is thread the worm on. And then what we're going to do is do a little mixture today. We've got some little ragworm here, which are ideal for any sort of flatties. So we get one of them on. Beautiful. Get two on. Just like that. A little bit of wiggle because we're not blasting these out. And then what I've got here is just a tentacle of squid. And this just exposes the hook point very well. So if anything bites on, that bait there will catch basically anything. First cast of the day. Fingers crossed we get a slab. <laughs> That's the rods out now, guys. Got one out far, one in close with the worm baits. And we're all set up. Sam's just over there. Getting ready, what are you throwing out, Sam? Whole squid. Whole squid, baby. Oh, you got a bite. Slack line. First fish of the day. Yeah, sometimes they swim towards you, eh? I don't even know if the bait's been in the water two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> good, well, hopefully it's a good sign to come. Yeah, hopefully, mate. Sam's fish is coming up. What is it? 
The bream. Black bream? I think so, yeah. Hey, hey. First fish of the day. The good old black bream. Not a bad one either, mate. Look at that. We just get it unhooked and we get you a better show, guys. First fish of the day in 10 minutes. There you go. Nice little first fish there, eh? Yeah, lovely. The colours on the black bream are mental. Oh, a lovely fish, mate. We're quickly getting released. He ain't big enough to eat. We got the barbecue with us today. If we get a keeper fish, we'll be cooking the bad boy. Yeah. Cannonball! A prize catch here, guys. This is the very rare conga whip slash sandeel. Oh, yeah, I've seen bigger sandeels than that. <laughs> it's tiny, eh? Look at it. That's disgraceful. And the problem with these are is they twist your line up and then you're buggered. So I'm going to quickly get him back. Two of the best bream baits in my opinion. These are party squid. Really small squid. And then we've got scallop frills. And for black bream, these are probably the number one baits up there with any sort of worm. These will catch them. We're going to switch all up now and hopefully we can get a few species on the guy. Sammy boy's in again. What's your prediction, Sam? Another bream. Another breamage? Well, what is that? It's an eel. <laughs> He's got a strap. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger than yours, though. <laughs> Mine's like a sight. Mine's like a sand eel. <laughs> Check that out. We won't film it too much longer, guys. We got bigger fish to catch. What are you guessing, mate? Oh, I don't know. You might have a double up. Could be a doggy. <laughs> Yeah? I don't know. This place, we could chop up absolutely anything, eh? So, I thought it was a hound for a second. <laughs> there you go, guys. Another species. That's the dogfish. We'll probably catch a couple of these today. There you go. Best way to hold them. Get the tail and grab the head. And then you can pop the hook out. Beautiful. Nice little dogfish there. Who won't keep them out of the water too long. So we're getting bites left, right and centre at the moment. <laughs> Come on, show yourself fish. <laughs> There's a doggy. Yeah, doggy. <laughs> you can golf that. There you go guys, another dogfish. Quickly get him unhooked and we get him back. I haven't even got a rod in the water now. <laughs> we don't want to film too many of these. Also known as the cat shark as well, lesser spotted cat shark. And uh, not a lot to say about them. I think every angler gets sick of these eventually. But at least we're getting a few different species mixed in between. <laughs> cool, we want his relative as well. There's a relative called the bull hoss or the greater spotted dogfish. And uh, they get considerably bigger than this. It'd be nice to see one of them tonight. They're getting bigger. <laughs> there you go, another whip there, guys. A little bit bigger than the rest. You can see he's in a strangled mess. Perfect for Sam to sort out. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> We've got that sun coming up now. You can't really see it much in the camera. But once that sun comes up, hopefully more fish come out. Sam with his whip whip. <laughs> The gnashes on that. The bite force of Congas is incredible, eh? Oh, yeah, they're very strong. Yeah. Can we get him released? Come on, you beauties. Sounds got a little fish on. What you got there, buddy? Oh, black bream. Oh, hey, oh, a it's a double up. I got a double up. <laughs> Is that a little pelt? Yeah, it's a pelt. That's the fourth species of the day. There you go, guys. That's a pelting. Get those all over the place around here. Oh, he just come off. Look, great. Whoa, these are great live bait as well for big bass. We don't want him today. A little bit better bream there. Yeah, not bad. Eh? Yeah. That daylight's coming, so the bream usually go on full steam ahead at daytime. Beautiful. Here we go. Lovely little black bream there. Hold on, mate. Thank you. Check that out for a sunrise, guys. 
Got the rods in the background. Come on, you fish. Fish on here, guys. Not sure what it is. We're getting constant bites since we got here, right, mate? Oh, yeah. What we got? A doggy. Wolf, wolf. <laughs> Quite a big one as well. Yeah. The size of that for a doggy. <laughs> I thought it was a bream. Sam's in again. He's on fire tonight. You are, like Sammy boy. Bream, yeah? I think it's a bream, yeah. A lot of head dogs. Fingers crossed, mate. What you got? Ooh. Not a bad one at all, that. Oh, it's not much bigger. Uh, Maybe a little bit. Gave up a good scrap, though, eh? Yeah, it did. Lovely bream, mate. Well done. There you go, guys. The good old black bream. Delicious taste in fish when they're a bit bigger. We just need one slightly bigger to stick on the barbie, eh mate? Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at that beautiful sunrise. That's what it's all about. We're gonna start mackerel fishing soon. Hopefully we can get a couple of them too, eh mate? The notorious woof woof. <laughs> Another one there, guys. I'm not gonna show too much of him. Let's get him back. Just changed over to the mackerel feathers now, guys. Early morning is always good for mackerel. And uh, there's been a lot very close to the shore at the moment. So, fingers crossed we can get a few for the barbie. <laughs> and all you gotta do is blast it out and then reel it straight back in. I'm in. First cast. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a full string. Got a mackerel in the morning when the night comes through. We got a mackerel in the morning. We got a catch and cook with you. Still want to clear my line. <laughs> got bites on my other rod, guys. Oh, there you go. Another call of mine. There's absolutely hundreds. There's a chap next to us who's getting 20. At, <laughs> what is he at about 20 now? Yeah, for sure. Beautiful. This is fresh bait and perfect. The rod's still going. All right, let's go. Caught a lovely sized mackerel on my bait reeling it in. <laughs> Shows how much is out there, eh, mate? Yeah. Beauty. Definitely something, I can feel it banging its head. What's that? Is that a doggy? Yeah. You little bugger. <laughs> we get her back. Fresh mackerel. Pulling a few in now. We need these for bait as well, so perfect timing. Sam's getting a bit of the Call of Moine action. Yeah, the of Moine. It's a bit of the Call of Moine action. Look at that for a sunrise, guys. What a, what a morning to be fishing. Not a breath of wind, mackerel everywhere. The bait rods have gone completely dead now. So we're happy we've got a few mackies on the go. <laughs> How many you got on that one? One. Way, one big one. Yeah, I'll bring it over here. I'll unhook it for you, mate. Look at that. Fresh mackerel in the morning. That's what it's all about. Hell yeah.
Fresh Mackies, baby! Sam is the Mackie Slayer. The Call of Moin. <laughs> We're still pulling them in. <laughs> Lovely sized mackerel. This is going to be our bait for the next conga trips. And that's our deal. We're going to get the barbie on in a sec, guys. And then we're going to be eating some of these because we're really hungry. Got a few on here, guys. There's a big shoal must have come through because I'm getting them every single cast. And I'm winching. <laughs> yeah. Must have come off then. We're getting full of them. And they're all perfect size as well, eh? Yeah, lovely size. Hell yeah. We've got the barbie out. We're going to get that lit in a minute and we're going to be tucking in some fresh fish. Woohoo! Sam's going for a little count up. Um, we've got a few mackerel. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 24. 24 mackies and one look, beast. Look at that. That's a cracker, eh? That's a beast of a mackerel. Yeah, that one's going on the barbie. <laughs> How we're going to prep these mackerel, guys? Really straightforward. Is you go behind the fins on the side here and go up towards the head. And then you do exactly the same the other side. On the top, on the bottom. And then you can just pull all of the guts out just like so. You give it a little rinse. And you can go from its butthole, cut up like so, and you can take the rest out, and that's one mackerel, perfectly ready for the barbecue. And what we're gonna do before we cook them, is just put a few slits in, helps it cook a bit quicker, and it just looks a bit fancier, to be fair. <laughs> what we're doing next, we got the good old chili flakes. And they go straight over the top, both sides. Don't want to put too much on it. <laughs> We're gonna be burning. <laughs> a little bit, too. We got black pepper. Beautiful. And we'll do the other side afterwards. We got some nice bits of parsley, just to make it look pretty. There we go. And that'll stick nicely to the mackerel. Give it a rub so it goes all inside the grooves. Beautiful. And that's going to cook lovely on the barbie. Near our barbecue now, we always want to make sure the coals have got a nice bit of ash on them that they burnt down a little bit. And you've got your mackerel, and they go straight on the barbie. Oh, that's hot. And this barbie will fit four mackerel perfectly. That's ideal. And once they're cooked, we got a fresh lemon to squeeze on top. God, these smell good, eh, mate? Smells delicious. Fresh collar mornings in the morning. That's what it's all about. Whoa, that's hot. Check that out, guys. That's what you call a fresh meal. Whoa, that's hot. Check that out guys, 
that looks amazing. Perfectly cooked. Look at that, Sam. This is your piece, my boy. <laughs> there we go. A bit of fresh lemon straight over the top. There we go. That's going to be Sam's breakfast for today. Barbecued mackerel with chili flakes, bit of black pepper, and a bit of lemon. Yum! <laughs> Hell yeah. Smelling well good, eh, mate? Smells delicious. Yeah, this has got to be up there with the, one of the best cooks yet. Oh, look at that. Flakes straight off the bone. Oh, hell yeah. That tastes amazing, mate. You can taste the chili flakes straight through it. Mm. I'm doing those those slices in it, and you can just pick the, the chunk off just like that. It's perfect. Been a good night, really. Eh? No been monsters. Good, no, it's been a nice night. Yeah, really enjoyable. A few bream, a few whips. A yep. few doggies there. Eh? Still got two big mackerel sitting on the barbie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you guys ever get the chance to do this, highly recommended. Always bring a barbie with you. Mm. Mm. There you go. That's the backbone. It just comes out when it, you know when a mackerel is perfectly cooked, when the backbone just falls out, you're left with all the tender meat. Look at that. And these are full of omega-3 oils, mackerel as well. They're really good for you. What a breakfast, eh? What's it, six in the morning now? Yeah, can't get better than that, eh? Yeah. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. There's a chap on the rocks fishing. So we're gonna ask him if he wants a mackerel after. We gotta finish ours first. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of fresh lemon. Nice fresh mackerel. Lovely job. Yum. <laughs> Can't say anything more but mmm and yum. Yeah. Look at that. Lovely crispy skin on that mackerel. Looks delicious. And always bit of fresh lemon. You can't go wrong with that. Which is good. Mm. Look at that guys. That's how it comes out. It's really firm fish once it's cooked and it comes out in huge chunks with no bones. The bones are mainly in like the uh, stomach flap there. But in the top half of the meat you don't get any. You just get these huge chunks. And I only started out a bait fishing session. Yeah. It wasn't until that morning come when we thought, oh, we'll put some feathers on and try for a few mackerel. We started loading up yeah. straight away. Cooked four up. Still got 20 left for bait. Exactly. Perfect. End of the day, we, we spend a lot of money on bait for conga fishing. So saving all these sorts of mackerel will save us a fortune in up and coming months. So I won't leave you any longer guys. We've been out all night now. We're going to carry on fishing for the next half an hour or so. Sam's goes, hey, I'm, I'm sure you're enjoying that buddy. Oh, I am mate. <laughs> Delicious. That's one of the best cooks eh, when we do the mackerel. Oh yeah. On the barber you can't go wrong. So stay tuned for the next episode. If you want to check out Sam's Instagram, the link's always in the description. If you like my channel, like, subscribe, make sure to hit the like button, guys. It's smash fishing. Woo! Yum. Yum. Caveman food. How's that taste, Sam? Amazing. Oh, yeah. Fresh mackerel on the rocks. Sam's in. <laughs> call, call the moines. Pandemonium on the rocks. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah. Got a few on or? The line's got a bit slack there, mate. Yeah, it's probably you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> nah, I think it's just the one. Oh, yeah. Fresh coil of mines in the morning. There's a couple there. Three, two, two. Ah. fresh mackies. <laughs> You got some freshies. Oh yeah. String of three. <laughs> Fresh mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> 